Hey guys, Joe Tunney at Infinity of Kirkland, just outside of Seattle, Washington, here in Kirkland, Washington, taking a look at a great looking local trade. It's a 2008 Infinity QX56. Now this one is in ivory pearl, or pearl white throughout the industry, and why they call it uh, pearl white is because there's actual ground pearls in the paint. If you've heard me talk about it before, metallic paints have metallic shavings inside of them which tend to oxidize as the years go by. A big car here that's lavished with all kinds of paint does really, really well in pearlescent colors, pearl white being the most popular. The car may get uh, old and gray, but the paint will still look fantastic with those ground. They're synthetic pearls, but ground pearls nonetheless. I'm going to take a close-up look of this particular car right here because sometimes when we take uh, still photos, helicopter flies overhead. Sometimes uh, when we take still photos you can't see small details like rock chips and the like. This one does have a few rock chips. It has just come out of detail so uh, about the size of a, not a pinhead, a little bit bigger than a pinhead in two or three examples and then uh, a cluster of small ones here. One here, one here, one here and then another small handful here. This one's maybe a quarter of the size of a dime. So since it's just come out of detail, we're going to touch all this stuff up so you won't know that they were there. However, I want you to see the work that we've done after we do it. So if you'd like some close-up photographs of it after we do the work, I'm very happy to send those to you so you know exactly what's going on long before you ever set foot into the dealership or if this is on eBay long before you make a, a bid to buy. The bumper looks uh, very nice and clean. And then as we feel along the for paint lines, that's actually really important. I'm going to show you exactly what we do to feel for paint lines. All car dealers, or at least all car dealers who know what they're doing, do the exact same thing whenever they take in a car on trade. They feel these curves right here. And what they're feeling for is irregularities in the paint. It's the single most important thing that you can do for a car. And most people have no idea what we're doing when we do this. And so the reason is, is when a car is brand new and it's at the manufacturer, they have not put an engine in it yet, or a dashboard, or a windshield, or anything like that. So they can hit it with paint everywhere at the same time. So it's getting exactly the same amount of paint all the way around these arcs right here, where the engine is. And so you can't Mario, paint from the ground nice. up. Mario, nice. Of course, the engine's in the way. And so the paint, if it's been in an accident, they'll paper all this off, and then they'll spray paint straight uh, top to bottom, and you'll get a definitive edge where the paint can only get so far through here. And we'll pop the hood. And we want to take a look at the screws that hold things like the, uh, the hood of the car or the fender to the chassis, the chassis being the architecture underneath, the fender being what's on the exterior. And if we look at all of these screws, they haven't been turned, and that's a great sign. Show me a screw that's been turned and I'll show you a car that's been in a car accident. Also, the other thing is that the paint on the exterior of every car in the whole wide world, it's always shiny, and on the interior, it's dull, especially on pearlescent paints. They never pearlize the interior paint. They call that matte finish. And so whenever you see this pearlized paint and then matte, that's actually a good sign. At a body shop, they're not going to have two robots going alongside with one paint concept and another. It's just going to be Bob and he's going to be out there on a Thursday painting the whole thing. And so you'll see whatever the concept is here, you'll see that same concept in here. And although it looks nice, it's actually a bad thing and a dead giveaway that a car has been in an accident. Now, this is Infinity's tried and true 5.6 liter V8 engine. And uh, believe it or not, we just sold one of these QX56 is a little bit older than this with 292,000 miles. And uh, believe it or not, it brought $13,300 wholesale. It was a super, super nice uh, SUV, but the uh, it's a lot of money for 290 odd thousand miles. If we take a look at this one, Mirrors look nice, running boards look nice. 106,000 miles, so let's take a look at the interior. That's one of the concern areas for me. I, I know this car has been wonderfully serviced here at Infinity of Kirkland since it was new, but maybe it was a heavier driver. Maybe they had dogs or they smoked cigarettes or who knows what. And so the uh, if I look at these seats, these seats look very, very nice and very original. So for 106,000 miles, they actually look fantastic. A lot of times people, uh, these big heavy doors, they're great, they're safe, they do a lot of nice things well. They got a lot of electronic amenities uh, built in. Everything's all integrated so beautifully. However, when you're opening and closing the door a lot, you'll see a lot of this stuff tends to get pretty dilapidated. This stuff can get all separated from the door assembly itself. And it's not like that at all. It's actually, uh, it's quite nice. Everything works smoothly. 
go to the back seat and you can tell everything's just as nice in the back seat as it is in the front. That particular floor mat right there is a little dirty for my liking. I think we should probably get it shampooed again. But overall, the interior looks quite nice for 106,000 miles. No scratches, scrapes, no dog teeth impressions, nothing like that at all. If we look up on the headliner again, I see a little bit of dirt on the headliner that we should probably touch up. But aside from that, no, it looks great. Also, if we look at the wheels, 2008 is the first year of a subtle revision in the body style. Uh, it, the, the one word we use to summarize it is chrome. There's just a whole lot of chrome on these cars starting in 2008. They have uh, chrome roof rack rails, 20-inch uh, chrome wheels. They used to have 18-inch chrome wheels. And then a lot of the uh, accents, like the lower belt line, are all done in chrome as well. The mirrors are in chrome. And so you see a lot of chrome. But the problem with chrome wheels is that when you scratch them, you can't fix them. It's In fact, it's against the law to work on chrome wheels in Washington. I guess the mercury inside of the wheels, uh, the chroming process is uh, not salmon friendly. And if you know anything about Seattle other than our love for coffee, uh, we love our salmon. And so the whenever you get a scraped up curved wheel that's chrome in Washington, you just have to leave it at that. But these aren't scraped up at all. And then these tires are all new all the way around. Taking a look inside, these have a, a very generous uh, luggage accommodations. This is a center bench seat, which is rare, so it'll hold eight passengers. There's a couple of pluses for that uh, eight passenger utility is that not only do you have uh, the back seat, and then in the back seat, these actually recline, so uh, very spacious in the third row as well as in the second row. But with a push of a button, it's a 60 40 folding rear seat. And so you can uh, accomplish much more storage than you can in the seven passenger units in that you can put two people back here, three in the middle, two up front, and then have this big extra area. In fact, you can fold the seating to your, the limits of your imagination, but if I folded this right seat as well, then I could put some real long objects through here and still have plenty of room for six. Or I can have the small side down, the big side down. Again, use the limits of your imagination on that and then I have extra storage down here as well. But more importantly is the condition. Everything looks very, very nice. 106,000 miles on a family vehicle. Uh, you know why you bu uh, buy family vehicles? It's because you have a family and you have soccer games and dogs and kids' cleats all over everything, dog hairs all over the place, your fishing poles, your skis, all the things you do in your fun family adventures are great, but they're tough on cars. And so when I look at this car and I see how pure and nice and original it is, I'm very encouraged. And then all those things I talked about, about the, uh, the paintwork up front and seeing if the screws have been turned, that works for the back as well. And so I want to make sure these screws have never been turned. And in fact, they have not. And then with a push of a button, this just closes. This also is set up uh, with trailer tow in mind. Now that's actually standard on QX56s and they tow in a two-wheel drive configuration, 9,000 pounds. This one's a four-wheel drive, so it tows 8,900 pounds. Taking a look along the passenger side, everything looks quite nice. Again, the wheels look great, tires are all new. If I look in here, I see uh, a couple of imperfections and I can tell you exactly why. It's the seatbelt buckle's gotten uh, the doors closed on it on more than one occasion, looks like uh, at least three occasions. Again, we can touch all this stuff up. It's pretty modest, but it's worth pointing out. You're not seeing the car in person, so you're kind of at the mercy of our description of it, and I want to make sure our description is as accurate as you need it to be. And then if you want some close-up photos, if you say, boy, I see something that doesn't look quite right, then put us to work. The, uh, that's what we're here for. We're here to serve you, and we want to get exactly the information that's important to you. And so I see another couple of small one, two, three, four areas that could be touched up right here uh, with rock chips. One product that's available is a Clear Bra. It's a very popular product. I would suggest this uh, owner probably should have bought it new. Uh, it covers the front of the vehicle. It's a 3M, uh, it's a see-through product. It's a plastic product that lays on there and then goes on these door edges as well so that uh, you avoid any kind of rock chips in the future. But regardless, the uh, we want to get them touched up for you. Wood in here, everything looks really nice. In fact, I'm gonna jump in the driver's seat and we're gonna take a look inside there. that I realize is that it only has one master remote key. 
whenever we sell an infinity granted the rule is whenever we sell an infinity under a hundred thousand miles but this one's such a nice vehicle and it's expensive enough we're going to make sure that you get that second master remote key so hold me to that because it is important to have two master remote keys one if you lose one and you're stranded otherwise two they're 300 and something dollars to replace if you don't want to get stuck with that now this one has heated seats it has a heated steering wheel it's the only one of our infinities that comes uh, optioned with the heated steering wheel glass moonroof rear air conditioning great bose stereo system the traditional classic uh, clock that uh, is one of the signature elements of all infinities but again they have really nice wood the interiors have a fabulous personality i own one of these cars i have a silver one and it has miles just right around this. In fact, mine I think has 109,000 miles and I have absolutely no intentions of trading that one in. If you get a nice one and it's well serviced, obviously mine's well serviced, I'm a manager at an Infinity dealership, they just don't break, they last. They last forever and ever. So long as you wanna keep changing the oil, they're gonna to wanna to keep working for you. And so when you get the opportunity to get one of these that's a well-heeled, well-established person, they bought it, they've enjoyed it, the car was $60,000 new, more than 60,000 actually, and then they go ahead and buy another one and the new one's $80,000. And not that buying an expensive car suddenly means everything you touch uh, turns to gold, but it is nice to know that the first owner can afford the best. They enjoyed it so much that they could afford the best again and they jump forward. It's also nice to know that they bought their next car right here at Infinity of Kirkland. They enjoyed the good service that they, uh, they have experienced since 2008 and uh, continued the journey with us. And uh, we'd like to start a new relationship with you. And, when we say that, we mean that uh, really sincerely. It's it's the lifeblood of our business, obviously, is selling and servicing cars and the parts that are associated with selling and servicing cars. And so if you have any questions, even ultimately, if you don't buy an Infinity from Infinity of Kirkland, we hope you at least consider Infinity as a brand. And we hope you consider using our service facility uh, if you do uh, purchase an Infinity elsewhere. If you have any questions about this particular Infinity, again, if you want me to take more photographs, a different kind of video, if you'd like to see anything, the operation of the video system, listen to the actual stereo system, anything you need to know, I can put the car up on a lift and take photographs or video of it from underneath. I can get you the service records going back to day one. I can get you the car facts. Anything at all that you need to make the most intelligent choice that you possibly can, it's my job to provide that for you. No questions asked. If you're out of state, if you're on the other end of the world, it's okay. Just call me, uh, Joe Tunney here at Infinity of Kirkland. Our direct number is 425-821-1600. Or just drop me an email at joet at infinityofkirkland.com.